Okay, I have some kind of fun here that I came up with. Came across this little uh, motor. It's a brushless motor that came out of an Igloo thermoelectric cooler. It's the fan motor. And if you go to their website, Igloo, uh, you can find these little motors. And they're one of these brushless motors that are very similar to the, the fans, the uh, Bedini fan kind of motor. So I got it apart. It was hard. And then I took the guts out of it, which is a hall sensor transistor circuit. Yeah, it runs on 12 volts, but it wouldn't run on anything else. Anyway, I fiddled around with it and fiddled around with it and uh, rewired it into a Bedini SSG circuit. And that's the little motor right there, wired up to a single transistor Bedini SSG standard circuit. You can find these all over the internet. There's nothing fancy about that circuit. I am using a TIP31 transistor, a little bit different. And I'm going to run this on 6 volts here tonight. I'm going to show uh, my little magnet junkie friend running off the magnet that is mounted on the back of that motor. And I wanted to do this for a long time, is just mount the magnet on a motor and see if I get the same kind of results. And then I'm going to show the charging that takes place now that I've rewired it on the flyback. Uh, when the coils collapse on that motor, they shoot out a high spike of energy. I'm going to show that in that neon that lights up at 60-some-odd uh, volts. And then I'm going to show the voltage that's being stored on that capacitor on this meter right here. Um, here we go. You have to hand start these. Unfortunately, they don't uh, self-start. Okay, there it goes. There's your flyback. There's my little magnet junkie, Mag Maggie, with her little uh, neodymium ball spinning up. And there's the motor running away. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the capacitor to the diode that captures the flyback, which is that right there. And watch this cap climb here when I do this. This is DC voltage. ninety two volts on that capacitor right there and that's what's coming off of the flyback on that little motor there now what I can do is I can take that and I put that in another battery and now I've got that Bedini charging scenario that we've all played with those of us that have worked with the Bedini SSGs so anyway I just want to share that with people that uh, here's another little uh, little motor idea that I came up with to uh, not only use a motor for a generator, but also by putting that neodymium magnet on the back of that motor, now I've got the generator part of it running remotely. This is running on 6 volts. It's pretty high amp draw. It's 50 milliamps. Uh, at 12 volts, this thing just flies. It's, it's a scary fast. Uh, but at the amp draw, it goes on up to about 120 milliamps, uh, similar to a standard Bedini SSG. Now this little bulb right there is the protection bulb for the transistor. If I turn the base current up too much, you should be able to see that come on and glow. See that glow a little bit there? That's the uh, protection uh, um, indicator for the base current going to the transistor right there. There goes the flyback again connect this one more time to the capacitor. Watch this thing climb up and how fast it climbs up. Now that capacitor is very low farad rating, high voltage rating. That's why it's climbing so fast. This does not have a great big punch as far as amperage. It's just voltage. But uh, it does work. And anyway, it's just something I want to share with people. These little Igloo thermoelectric cooler fan motors. And you can go to their website and find them. Or you can scrounge around for one like I did. And take it apart. It's uh, four poles. And the poles on the magnet, which is one of these... Uh, strip kind of magnets is a north south north south north four poles 
then there's four coils on the magnet inside there. There's four, um, I mean, on the stator. There's four coils on the stator. And you have to disassemble um, that circuit board and connect the uh, wires just right. It's basically uh, two coils uh, wound together in series. They give you the two basic coils of a Bedini SSG. And you have to fiddle around with how you wire them into the circuit, but it does work. So, you know, just something to fiddle around with here while I'm waiting for New Year's. Maggie seemed to enjoy this one. She likes magnets. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Have a good one.